Start digging right there. Dig right there, dig right there. Oh, you see it? Yeah. You see this? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, look at that. There's something silver down there. Oh, hey, it's pretty big. Yeah. What is that? Look at that. Looks like some sort of note. Oh! 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 <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Today, we're doing a little metal detecting. A good friend of mine invited us to come over to his farm and do a little uh, searching around, see if we can find anything. And uh, he lives in a pretty historic location, a lot of Civil War battlefields and and uh, things like that in this area. So I'm excited we might uh, see something and find something. Um, but uh, it's a cold, wet day today, and uh, we're just excited to get out and do something because we got a little bit of cabin fever. I think I'm going to find a gun. I think I'm going to find 100 guns. Uh, I think I'm also going to find a cannon. A cannon? Yeah, and a gun. Okay, we've got a mouse infestation in my garage. Look what I just found on my sleeve. <laughs> That's a but. Look at this. There's tons of it in here. It's, it's I use it for carp bait, but the mice have been taking it and storing it in my sleeve. Gosh, how much is in here? There's something in there. Need to set more mice traps. All right, here's my metal detector. It's the Prism 4. It's made by a company called White's. And uh, it served me pretty well. It's it's not a bad mid-range uh, metal detector. It's getting a little old. I think it's uh, oh, 10, 15 years old now. But uh, I've used it a lot. And the boys got some of these little uh, Bounty Hunter Junior metal detectors. All right, so my friend came out here and told me that there was actually some Civil War encampments over in this field behind the house. So we're definitely going to go over there. I think we're going to make a quick sweep around the house just to get warmed up, see if we can't find any old coins or anything like that. And uh, eventually, I do want to go and poke around here and see if we can find any old farm implements. So uh, we're going to kind of see what happens. And uh, it's been a while since I've done any serious metal detecting, so I'm a little rusty, but uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, guys, come on. I think there's a ton of metal over here. I think there's some metal in these rocks. Look at this, it's solid rock, and I'm getting all sorts of signals. There's something down there. That's better. The metal detectors are just going bonkers on these rocks. I think there's some iron ore in there or something. So we're gonna go get out into the farmer's field and try that. You know what this is? What? It's a cornfield. I knew it. See, look at this is this is look at the leftover bits of corn. Something about the rocks here just pings the crap out of the uh, the nickel and the iron, and it's just setting my detector off. Uh, looks, looks like someone's been detecting here. See these holes? Well, if I was a Civil War soldier, I'd put my uh, tent on top of a little hill. So I'm on the, the hill here, and we'll see what, see what we can find. Usually, when I'm getting the false readings, I zip my metal detector over. It bings once, and I zip over the same spot in another direction, and it doesn't bing. That tells you it's a phantom reading. But this is getting a good, clear tone each direction. Another sign that you have a good reading is that it should get clearer as you dig. If it gets more confused as you dig, that tells you something's off. I can see that whistle. <laughs> oh, man, everything in the soil is coming up nickel. Oh, look, here comes the train. 
Well, it looks like Tommy found the first treasure. Why don't you show? Yeah, I got a little shotgun shell casing. Look at that. Is this a bullet from the shotgun? Yeah, it's the casing. It's what's left over when you shoot a bullet. Hey, Nathan. Wait. I Casey. Oh, that one's all plastic. Wow. There you go, bud. There's a treasure bag. I want to put the camera in there. You want me to put my camera in there? Yeah. Well, let's see. It's down here. Look inside that tree, guys. It's like hollow. Look inside that tree. This place is kind of frustrating. The rocks in the ground just set off my metal detector like crazy. I mean, look, just, just constant. I can tell they're bogus readings because they're kind of disappear on me. See, they're kind of, it's not very crisp. It's kind of just, uh, uh, uh. when you get a good reading like my ring, it's nice and crisp. When it's a good reading, it'll give me a steady depth signal. When it's a bad reading, the depth kind of jumps all over the place and disappears and it can't get a depth reading. But I think the boys are getting a little sick of this, so we're gonna go over to the barn and see if we can find any cool artifacts by the barn. What? What is that? Look at you find, show the camera. Yeah, a golf ball. That's awesome. All right, you guys wanna go metal detect that barn? All right, let's do it. Yeah. The bike. Yeah, the bike, yeah they, right they still use this. Guys, this is where they used to keep cows. The cows go and put their heads through the bars and they clamp their heads and they can come on back here and milk them or whatever. There's like four Xerox machines back here. What are those doing here? Hey, look at this guys, this is the silo. See? They used to have conveyor belts. They'd put cow feed, maybe cow food up in there. Look at this, yeah. Yeah, look at that. You did find a shovel. Yeah, look at that. You found something? I want to this rock. It's a new Okay, let me see, here back up. Let me see what it is. I found it. You see it right there? What is that? Can. Can. Yeah, it's a can. can. Okay, that's a proper signal. All right, Tom, come here, bud. This is probably a piece of the silos roof, and it's and they're all over. Coming up, pull tabs. <laughs> Finding anything, Nate? Yeah, lots, of lots of beer cans. Oh, there's lots of brambles here. Look at this. Yeah. My stuff. What did you find? A black. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, are you detecting your brother again? No. I'm not metal. I'm not metal. He's a robot. Stop metal detecting your brother's bottom. It's good we're doing this in the winter time. We'd be so full of ticks if we did it in the summer. <laughs> Nathan, did you just say you love moonshine? Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, lots of groundhogs in here, aren't there? Look at all those groundhog holes. Man, I'm still getting tons and tons of these false signals. What was it? A rock. Yeah, there's these rocks have a lot of metal in them. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but I still found metal. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's a golf ball skin. No, I think I saw the guts over here. Here it is. Look right here. That's, that's the guts of a golf ball right there. 
Yeah, that's the inside of a golf ball. Let me see if I can do it now. Let's see if I can do it now. What's this? Look at this. What is it? What is it? Is that? Is that nail? It's a giant bolt to like a tractor. Flap this back over like that. Then it's done. All right, guys, let's go get some food. I'm hungry. How about you guys? Dad, my dad kind of found a bolt to a tractor. Oh, my goodness, that's awesome. And Two golf balls. Yeah. Awesome. I found a bolt. And a, and a golf rock. ball. I also that's got a awesome, rock. Nathan. Well, we didn't get rich. We didn't find tons of Civil War relics, but we had a good time, didn't we? We actually did another metal detecting video that we already, we're actually were quite successful, and I'll post the link in the description. And me and Nathan did a magnet fishing video a while ago. We had a lot of fun. Even caught an eel magnet fishing. And I'll put a link in the description to that as well. But thanks for watching. We hope you guys had a good time. Don't forget to click subscribe. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.